Today we have the drip marketing for Genshin 3.2. I'm literally at my home screen. I haven't even looked at anything yet. Literally did not want to even search anything because I knew it was going to pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this, I have the Genshin Twitter copied and paste. So I'm literally going to hit enter here and we're going to see what's on their Twitter. And that's basically going to tell us the drip marketing. Let's see it. Okay, Genshin TCG coming soon. A little more details on that. Oh, okay. Aruzan, is it she like? I can't tell. Okay, no, 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 no. It's like a, it's like a Ayaka model or something like that. I did not see that coming. This is Aruzan. He's from the also from the Harvatat, okay, or Harvatat household name. Enigmatic Mashness. I, you know, I like that look. I really do. It kind of reminds me of like, um, it kind of reminds me of like of someone like in Hakai, you know? I mean, obviously, you know, same company. So that's Farozon. Uh, I think this doesn't actually say anything about her. Let's see it. Oh. Uh. Wanderer. Eon's Air Drift. This is kind of like a big spoiler, isn't it? Right? Like. <laughs> This is gonna happen after we fight him. Anima, it, it's like, why did he, did he just, I don't know, I, I think it looks cool, don't get me wrong, I think it looks cool, but like, yeah, we gotta like, see how this happened. I'm more eager to see how this happened than just to see the look itself. Like, you know, how did he go from what he was to this? But I mean, you know, it looks good, still looks very evil, in my opinion. Does not look <laughs> friendly at all. Eons adrift. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Everybody's excited here. This, okay. Tribulations uncounted, trials unknowable. Huh. Oh, okay, here you go. So here's the details. So Farozon is Animo as well. Um, and that's their constellation. And that's as far as they go in terms of uh what? World is that? That's as far as they go for that. The wonder. Oh, this is the tweet has been removed. Oh no. Oh, huh, okay. Well, that's uh, yeah, I'd say it's definitely not what I was expecting. You know, looking at the drip marketing today, definitely didn't see this coming. He changed his hat too. Huh. Yeah, this is very interesting. Look, Scar Nation, we have one. What the heck? <laughs> we're no longer clowns oh man uh, i'm happy to see that people are excited about them yeah i think that looks really good but like i said i'm just i'm i'm a lot more eager to find out how this happened um in a, you know in a couple days rather than like the actual look you know like i'm so eager to see how it happened because he changed up man it says there is a legend circulating among the Kashawar students. If you have failed your mechanics exams and do not dare to ask for remedial lessons from your displeased tutor, you can make your way to Haravata next door and ask Madame Farozan for some tips. Oh, okay. There is no need to prepare a gift. Just remember to show uh, sincerity and humility and call her Madam respectfully. That will be sufficient to get into this living encyclopedia of mechanics, good grades, or good graces. Uh, Madame Farozon's explanations are simple to understand and yet insightful, and her in-depth knowledge really, uh, really makes people wonder if she had a hand in writing the syllables. Syllabus. Her guidance will help resolve the most daunting problems, though there were to remain two problems that all students must overcome on their own. The first is how to hide their surprise when they see their youthful appearance. Oh, her youthful appearance, yeah. Cause she, she, I thought she was like one of like like a Sayu or a Klee for a second when I first saw it. Um, the the second is to refrain yourself from asking her why she be shunned in Harvard despite having such erudition, erudition, and whether she considered joining Keshwar. If you are unfortunate enough to commit one of these, uh, fox pass. You shall bear witness to a uh, heretic worthy of a household name in Haravat, especially when in the field of criticizing and reprimanding others. Okay, so basically, yeah, it's like go to her for info when it comes to um, 
your struggles with exams, it seems like, and she's to be called Madam Farozan. But a lot of people are very like young in Genshin and they have all of these like very, like they've made it, you know, like they're very, very young, but they have they have this, you know, like Hu Tao, for example, owning the business, like they have all these hefty roles. So that's pretty cool. On a fateful night, a uh, figure arrived at a place that had once been called Tartarsuna. Okay. There should no longer have been residents there, but as if destiny had decreed it, a famer or farmer? Oh, farmer. A farmer had come there picking Naku weed to make a living. Thus, it was under the moonlight that he saw a phantom figure standing on the edge of the cliff. The person who the person wore a wide hat and concealed their face entirely. However, the farmer could uh, could hear breathing through the pitter patter of the rain. The moment later, the figure spoke. This is how humans should breathe. Hmm. The farmer was terrified that he might have he might have encountered some spirit and and hurriedly hid behind a rock. The figure spoke again. What are you afraid of? Would a passerby such as I hurt you? I am merely here to tend to the grave of a friend. Silence filled the air once more. The farmer peeked out from behind the rock and saw that the figure had vanished. A note drifted to the ground and was instantly soaked by the rain. Three questions have been written on that piece of paper along with the answers that were not fully uh, written. If humans have a heart, why do they not fear the heart of others due to their interior nature? How should one treat others knowing full well their, in their inferiority? How can one be a human being without a heart? One without a heart is hardly human. Chills ran down the farmer's spine as he finished reading the note. Tartarsuna had been had been deserted for many years, and it has been a long time since anyone came here to pay their respects. And if there were, why would they appear on such a night? Huh. It was like a passerby, like, like you know, a bystander was walking through. They saw Skarmouche and, you know, just kind of questioned him, like, you know, what are you doing here? And then as soon as he's he was kind of like, you know, learning about humans uh, in a way, you know, like, oh, this is how they breathe. This is how they operate. This, that, and the third. And just kind of scared the guy off, apparently. But, you know, leave it to somebody who's animo. That, that's why he's animo, because he lost his friend. <laughs> that's not funny, but everybody who's animo always lost a dear friend, it seems like. So, yeah. Uh, let me know if I missed anything here, you know, when it comes to the, the explanation. Um... But yeah, I literally cannot wait for the Icon Quest. Can't wait to see how this unfolds, how this happens. But um, yeah, man, just... Oh, well, I guess people do have delusions and visions. So maybe Electro is just his delusion and Animo is actually his vision the whole time, possibly. I didn't think about that. Because like, you know, a child had, you know, uh, Electro and then he was also Hydro. And that was his real vision. So... Maybe his delusion was Electro and his vision is Animo, or it's the other way around. But either way, I mean, hey, that's great. But that'll do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction to the drip marketing. Hope you guys are excited for the next patch. I will catch you guys in the next one.